Welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is actually day four of Vlogmas. I did not post a video yesterday, which is actually today, but by the time you guys see this, it'll be yesterday because yesterday was our friend Dan's last day visiting us in Vegas and we were pretty much not home the entire day. We were kind of just running around the strip. I didn't really get a chance to chat with you or open up the advent calendars because we were there for the whole day. We'll have to do days three and four today, but I did get a little bit of footage while we were out and running around. Basically, we just wandered the strip and kind of just were winging it for most of the day. And then we went out to dinner and we also went to a Cirque du Soleil show. We went to the show Ka, which is in MGM Grand. And it was a really interesting show. I have seen Cirque du Soleil before. I saw them once years ago and it wasn't like a story like this one was. It was just like a circus performance. So it was mostly just acrobats and stuff like that. This time it was a really different experience. So it was a storyline, like a coming of age story about these twins. It was kind of hard to follow the plot because they they didn't talk. It was kind of just like an interpretive movement kind of situation. But the really cool thing about Ka was they had this stage that was super intense and it was like a moving, rotating stage. So I feel like the stage was the biggest part of the performance. So it was really fun to see we did that. And then we were kind of just out and about for the rest of the night. So yeah. Didn't get a chance to vlog, <laughs> but like I said, I, I'm not gonna be able to do daily vlogs because some days are running around and also some days are just boring work days. I don't know if you can tell by the fact that I'm wearing a full face of makeup, but I was filming it this morning for some content for my main channel. But yeah, Dan left this morning around 6 a.m. I actually didn't even get a chance to say goodbye to him because I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> but we really had a fun time with him. So I'm glad he came to visit. It's always fun when people come to visit us here because we live in this super fun area. You know, we're kind of removed from the actual strip but whenever people come to visit we get to do all of like the touristy fun things and it almost just feels like a staycation so it's always just really fun to have people for that but yeah actually last night we went to dinner at a place that we have heard so much about and everybody always says is like quintessential vegas dinner place to go to it was this place called pepper mill which is right kind of at the tip of the strip over by resorts world everybody Everybody has always talked about it. it's like this 24 hour diner and I've seen videos on social media of it of everybody just kind of raving about it and saying it's super inexpensive the food is so delicious like everything's super crazy over there but I gotta tell you I did not love that experience it was honestly just super bizarre at first I don't know why but I guess I kind of thought it was like more of a steakhouse vibe they do have steaks but I, I don't think that's like what they specialize in but we went there and and it's basically just reminiscent of a New Jersey diner, in my opinion, except for the lighting is like very blue and purple and then they have cool trees inside. So that was interesting. They basically have a diner menu you can get like breakfast, lunch, dinner, any time there. So we were all kind of settling on getting sandwiches for dinner. But when we first sat down, the person who seated us asked if we were ready to order. And we were like, oh no, we just need a couple of minutes with the menu. And then somebody else came over and was like, oh, I'm gonna be your server today. What can I get you? And we were like, oh, like confused because we thought the other guy was our server. And we were like, oh, we just need a couple of minutes with the menu. And then a third person came over and was like, hi, I'm gonna be your server today. And we were like, oh, there was a, there was like two guys here already. And then another person came over and she was like, I'm gonna be your cocktail server for today. And it was just like super confusing because I feel like they didn't really explain that. And then also the fact that they had a happy hour going on at the time that we were there, but they didn't tell us about it. And we saw it on the 
menu and we were trying to ask the cocktail waitress what the deal was and she was so mad at us for no reason. We were just asking her about the specials because she said she was the cocktail waitress and our friend Dan was like, oh, like, do you have any specialty drinks or anything like that you guys make that's different or funky or anything that you recommend I try? And she was like, um, you're holding the menu right now so you see what our drinks are. And we were like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> Thank you, but is there is there anything like that you recommend? Oh my gosh, is there a piece? There's a piece of food on my shirt. I'm sorry. Ugh, that's embarrassing, but it's fine. <laughs> But yeah, so he was like, yeah, but do you like have anything like special that you recommend or anything that's good? And she was like, yeah, you can get one of the drinks on the menu. And we were like, okay, I don't know why you're being mean. And then we were like, okay, we're just gonna like take some time to look it over and see if there's anything that catches our eye. And then she just got mad and walked away, I guess, cause we didn't order anything immediately. And then a fourth server came over, took our order. It was a completely different person than the first three people. And then she told us that the cocktail waitress was was gonna come back because we were ready to order our drinks and then the cocktail waitress wouldn't come back and we we tried to like wave her over and she just kept on ignoring us and then the server came back let me tell you we were being very friendly we weren't being standoffish or anything we were like being very open about like just asking for ideas like you know hey we're ready to order kind of stuff we weren't like um our cocktail waitress hasn't arrived yet we didn't do anything like that the girl told us she was gonna send the cocktail waitress over and then finally she came over literally right before happy hour ended and she was like, yeah. And we were like, can we order our drinks? And then we said what we wanted to order and then she just walked away without confirming anything. It was super bizarre. I don't know, the food was all right. It wasn't great. It was kind of just diner food and it was fairly expensive. The only thing that was inexpensive was the drinks but I didn't order an alcoholic beverage and Ryan and Dan said that their drinks barely had any alcohol in them. So I don't know that it was really worth the value, <laughs> but I will say, I feel like sometimes we randomly have these experiences, not just on the strip, but in general with some servers here, they seem to like get mad at you if you're not ordering a ton of things. Oh, hold on my alarm. But yeah, I mean, I, I think we're very easygoing customers when we go out to eat and we're also very generous tippers. But for some reason, I don't know, people seem to like get annoyed. We're Recently, Ryan and I were out to eat at a restaurant downtown and it wasn't even any area that was like touristy or anything like that, but we had ordered an appetizer and the server was like, and you don't want to get any drinks or anything? We were like, no, we're not gonna drink tonight. Like, thank you. And he was like, and you don't want any other appetizers? And we were like, well, we'll start with the one. And then if we want other appetizers before our meal, we could just order more. And he was like, Ugh, okay. And then just walked away and we're like, why are people being mad at us? I don't know, it's almost like intimidating because it makes you feel like, is it, are, are we not getting enough when we go out to eat? Usually Ryan and I will get like an appetizer, an entree, and then we'll split a dessert. So I don't know, I don't know, kind of weird. Regardless of that one experience, it was still a fun day. We kind of just spent most of the day wandering around. We also got to try Italy, which was so fun. There was just so many different areas. It was in Park MGM and it's basically just like a cafeteria for food kind of space where there's a bunch of different vendors that sell Italian foods. And we just went to one of the bakery ones and we got some really delicious food. So that was super fun. And like I said, I think the show was really interesting. So that was fun as well. But yeah, now, I have just been working today. I'm gonna keep on working. And then tonight we are headed over to our friend's house because we have been playing a little tabletop game and we are just going to continue that tonight. I'm probably not gonna vlog that just because these are friends who don't necessarily like to be online, but we're going to head to do that. And then I will also open my advent calendars because we're a little bit behind. I did drink my day two advent calendar coffee drink, which was the peanut butter cup. It was really good. It didn't taste as strong as like the the one from Dunkin obviously because I feel like the one from Dunkin is probably very sugary <laughs> but it was still really good so I enjoyed that one I don't know what my rating is for that I guess I'll give it a four out of five because it was tasty but I would probably want to add maybe some more sugary sweetness to it next time so that was really my fault but yeah anyway I'm going to keep on working and then when I need to take a break I will pop over and do my advent calendar so I'll see you a little bit.
Hello friends, I am back home. My battery is dying, so I'm gonna make this quick, but I want to open up my advent calendars. It's actually almost bedtime, so I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna open them and finish off the vlog here because I did not do my advent calendars yesterday. So I'm going to start with my coffee advent calendar. Oh, by the way, we just went to a friend's house. We were playing this tabletop game called Imperial Assault. It's like a Star Wars game, super fun. We did win tonight's campaign, by the way. I am obviously on the rebel team, <laughs> but yes, so. I'm gonna start off with my coffee advent that Ryan made me. So this is yesterday's day number three. Let's see what it is. I hope my battery doesn't die. Okay, this one is French vanilla twist. That sounds very good. I'll probably, I don't know. I, will I drink it tomorrow morning or will I drink day number five? Or will I drink day number four? Who knows? This is day number four. So this is technically today's, but I did drink day number two's today, which was delish. And this one is, ooh, cinnamon bun. That sounds very good. So I've got two delicious options. I'm, I'm very happy with the flavor so far, but I guess I'm not surprised because Ryan picked them out for me. Okay, and we've got day three and day four. I've been wearing this nail polish the day one for way too long. So I I definitely need to change that tomorrow, but let's do day number three. Oh man, this one's gorgeous. Ooh, that's my medication alarm. Hold on. Okay, day number three is, I believe, I believe it's silly, but I believe. By the way, these are all quotes, I believe from movies, but I am i don't recognize any of them yet. But this one, it looks like it's like a hot pink jelly, and then we've got iridescent flakes in it, and there are some really big flakes in here, so it looks stunning. Can't wait to try this. And then we also have day number four, and this, ooh, oh, this one's icy. This one's called Winter Is Coming, and this one is a really beautiful, light blue. It looks like it's kind of like a Krelly vibe. And then we've got some, it looks like blue hollow glitters. And then we also have iridescent flakes in here. Ooh, maybe I'll switch to this one. This one's gorgeous. Very beautiful things. Sorry, I'm kind of rushing this. It's just because I do want to go to bed. I'm super tired. And also my battery is dying. <laughs> Today is probably one of the less interesting days of Vlogmas, but I do have some fun stuff planned. And then I also want to, you know, have some heart to hearts with you guys. So thank you for joining me for another day slash two days of Vlogmas, but I promise there's also interesting slash exciting things to come. I'm not gonna open up the chocolate advent calendar just because we're about to go to bed, so <laughs> I'm just gonna wait. But yeah, thank you again for joining me. I love you all. If you're not subscribed, you should subscribe to the channel so that you can see the daily vlogs, which again, there will be more interesting things to come, but yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.